Hey everybody, my name is Jeff Crane. I own and operate Coles Farm NC right here in Jacksonville, North Carolina. We are located in the southwest corner of Onslow County. I'm a U.S. Marine by trade. I've been serving since July of 2000, so just over 24 years of service. I started beekeeping back in March 2017 with just one hive, and this year we actually expanded to 20 for a brief period. And most recently, we dialed back just a little bit through some combinations and some losses, and we're currently sitting at 15. I got into beekeeping after meeting another Marine in the fall of 2016 who had just started that year. He earned his North Carolina certification that summer. We met a few months later again in the fall and he talked so passionately about beekeeping and it piqued my interest. And I did some research, I read some books. The very first one I downloaded off the internet was Beekeeping for Dummies and I was hooked. I made the decision that winter, the winter of 2016, that I was going to start this beekeeping thing. So I bought some equipment and continued to do some research and reading over the winter. Met a local uh, master beekeeper in the county. Sat down with him and his wife, who had been beekeeping for a very long time. Asked a few questions, got some answers, and I was convinced to proceed. We actually own 25 hives, and they are all Hoover hives. We have a few five-frame nukes and pro nukes for those purposes, but we we decided to go with Hoover hives for a few reasons. They're made out of fir versus pine, and the bang for the buck you get is absolutely impossible to beat. So we decided to purchase the 25, uh, their golden standard, which is your double deep with medium super, bottom board, top cover, inner cover of course, all the frames, all the foundation, queen excluder, which is kind of nice, and their mouse guards are super handy. They also double as a complete entrance uh, reducer or blocker. So we are very impressed um, between all those factors being wax coated and they're absolutely beautiful. So through the power of social media, I reached out to quite a few folks on YouTube and Instagram that have had Hoover hives for quite a few seasons in various parts of the country and not one single person that I contacted had anything bad to say. In fact, the feedback that I received was very impressive. They seemed very happy with their purchases and that's why we decided to outfit our apiary exclusively with Hoover Hives. I believe that documenting our journey and our apiary has helped us because it gives you a global presence. It instantly allows you to share your techniques and your passion with anybody that's online. Our main platforms are Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Some advice that I would give other beekeepers, especially within their first three years of keeping bees, just looking back at my own experience and timeline, is I would not have stayed small for as long as I did. Meaning the very first year, I started with one hive and I maintained one hive for that entire year. I wanted to prove to myself that I could overwinter and successfully keep bees, which was my measure. My measure was if I was, if I was able to overwinter that one colony, that's what I was calling a successful year. Looking back, I do understand why the textbooks say what they say with at least having two because you have a comparable and you can you have other resources in case one hive becomes weak or goes queenless. Luckily that was not my case. I think I was very fortunate that first year for whatever reason, but I would not have stayed as small as I did for as long as I did. Meaning after a few months, like once I got comfortable with that first hive, I would have and probably should have expanded to at least four colonies. This year's honey harvest was just around 300 pounds, and that was from 10 hives that we overwintered. So for us, that's not terrible. That's actually, it's a pretty nice year. Again, we're relatively small. I'm still an active duty Marine, so finding the balance between my day-to-day -day activities and, and keeping bees primarily on the weekends, it, it gets challenging sometimes. So to harvest 300 pounds out of our backyard, I mean, we're very happy with that. We're very, we're very proud of it. And each year it slowly creeps up. So I do have some big aspirations for next year. I don't want to say too much. I don't want to jinx myself, but I would really like to bridge into that thousand pound mark. And I have some plans.
plans. That's all I'm going to say. I have some plans to get there. It's just a matter of seeing how next season goes. All right, that does it for me, folks. I appreciate everybody's time. And thank you for Galena Farms for thinking of me to highlight me for your uh, Beekeeper of the Month interview. I appreciate it. It was fun. And if anybody's interested in purchasing some of our honey, we have a few bottles left from this year's harvest. Just look us up on social media, Coles Farm NC. Thanks, everybody.